Hello students, welcome to my channel TGAT Maths. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, an example based on third property. What is third property? Uh, if uh, Laplace transform of f of t is equal to f bar of s, then the Laplace transform of f of t divided by t is equal to integral runs from s to infinity f bar of s into ds. So we are going to use uh, this property here that is the numerator totally treated as f of t divided by t. So we are finding the Laplace transformation for this. The example is very easy students. So first uh, let us observe what is f of t. Okay? f of t by t means f of t value is here f of t is equal to 2 sin t into sin phi t. Okay. So now to find out Laplace transform of f of t by t, we have to know f bar of s here first. Okay. So what is f bar of s? f bar of s means Laplace transform of f of t students. Okay, we need to identify f of t and find out its Laplace transformation, you will get f bar of s. So here what is f of t? This is f of t by t form. f of t by t form, f of t is equal to 2 sin t into sin phi t. Now we will do Laplace transformation find out. So to find out its Laplace transformation, we know Laplace transformation of sin a t, sin a t is a divided by a square plus s square, alright, a divided by s square plus a square. So now it is a product of sin t and sin phi t, first we need to apply transformation formula here. So keep it to as it is sin a sin b. You know sin a into sin b formula. Sin a into sin b is minus 1 by 2 times of cos a plus b minus cos a minus b. Cos a plus b. minus cos of a minus b. Okay, let us observe here. This is 1 by 2 times of minus 1 by 2 times of okay, cos a plus b cos of a plus b t plus 5t is 60 minus cos of t minus 5t. Here a is t, b is 5t t minus 5t is minus 4t. Further, this 2 and 2 get cancelled. This is minus times of right cos 60 as t is minus cos of minus theta. Cos of minus theta is just cos theta only. So you will get cos of 4t. So you multiply minus into minus plus first write cos 4t minus cos of t students. So you have expressed the product in terms of a sum. So you have got f of t here. Now let us find out Laplace transform for this f of t. So Laplace transform for this f of t is Laplace transform of cos 4t minus cos of 60. So Laplace transform of cos 4t is s divided by s square plus 4 square or 16 minus 
cos 60 is s divided by s square plus 66 36 this is equal to f bar of a student okay. now let us go for this formula okay the next slide okay. what is the formula students what is the formula laplace transform of f of t by t is equal to integral runs from s to infinity f bar of s into ts okay. so laplace transform of you know f of t i will write f of t as it is f of t by t minus sorry is equal to integral runs from s to infinity you know f bar of s f bar of s is s divided by s square plus 16 Minus s divided by s square plus 36 to ds. Okay. Fine. Now, now in this case we need to integrate between s to limit. First to integrate s by s square plus 16. So students, this is in the form of in the form of Numerator is f dash of x divided by f of x. The differentiation of denominator should present in the numerator. That is, is into d. So differentiation of s square is 2s, but it does not contain 2. Let us multiply by 2, and here I am going to divide by 2. both the cases it is possible because the differentiation of s square plus 16 is 2s and 2s so if it is the case then this is 1 by 2 times of if i integrate this integration of this is same as logarithm log of s square plus 16 differentiation of denominator is present in the numerator means it will become a logarithm minus log of s square plus 36 between s to infinity students now which is 1 by 2 times of log m minus log n is log of m by n so s square plus 16 divided by s square plus 36 between the limit s to infinity students whenever you get the upper limit or lower limit is infinity you are writing this limit in this form is keep it 1 by 2 as it is so i am writing this is limit as s tends to infinity uh, log of s square plus 16 divided by s square plus 36 The minus lower limit is just s only, right? As it is, this is s square plus 16 divided by s square plus 36. Fine. So now you need to evaluate this limit, limit of a function. So to express a limit of a function. To express a limit of a function. so what i need to do is here i will write 1 by 2 as it is so i will write limit as x tends to infinity to evaluate this limit students uh, here i need to take s square common the both numerator and denominator you will get to 1 plus 16 by s square Uh, divided by denominator if i take s square common you will get 1 plus 36 by s square okay. so this is minus log of this is as it is s square plus 16 divided by s square plus 36 there is a 1 by 2 sign outside okay. fine
Fine. Now, we have a line here itself. Fine, students. Look at. So just you can cancel here s square and s square. Okay. And uh, you must remember that limit of log of a function is log of a limit of a function. Okay, here as uh, s tends to infinity. Okay, so as s tends to infinity, any number by infinity becomes zero. Therefore, it is in the form of there is 1 by 2 already outside. This is log of 1 plus 0 divided by 1 plus 0 student minus log of this is as usual s square plus 16 divided by s square plus 36. Okay. So, log of 1 by 1. Log of 1 by 1 is 1 log 1 value is 0. This is 1 by 2 times of 0 minus. Okay, 1 by 2 times of this is minus outside this is log of s square plus 16 divided by s square plus 36 so you can stop here or just you can also write since it is a square root so 1 by 2 so this is like m log n m log n can written as minus log of S square plus 16 divided by s square plus 36 whole raised to 1 by 2. So whole raised to 1 by 2 makes or this will become minus log of this is square root of s square plus 16 divided by s square plus 36. Further, since it is a minus, it will become log of in the reverse order that is s square plus 36 divided by s square plus is the Laplace transformation of 2 sin t into sin phi t by t. Thank you so much for watching. We will meet in the next video.